Over a week ago, uh, Africa was certified free from wild uh, poliovirus by the World Health Organization at WHO. Now, in 2012, Nigeria accounted for half, get that, half of the wild poliovirus cases uh, in the world, a disease that affects children five years and below, sometimes leading to paralysis. But health experts say it, that Nigeria must remain vigilant. Shagun has the story. The World Health Organization estimates there are 10 to 20 million polio survivors in the world. Ashuru is just one of them. He was three years old when he was diagnosed with polio. He says polio changed his life forever. My young, I spent in polio because there, there is all my education. I go and anywhere I go, I go with this polio. This polio-free status of Nigeria may have come some 30 years too late for Ashuru, but he says he is happy that young children will not have to go through the same things he experienced. I feel I'm very, very happy to this because anyone who wanted this polio affecting him, you know the pain when he hear for his body and the challenge when he pays. In the people. This is a sentiment shared also by one of Nigeria's biggest individual donors to the polio eradication cause. Nigeria's achievement is all down to the many years of hard work of the government, the Global Polio Eradication Initiative, and people like him have put in. I felt very fulfilled. I felt that um, our work has paid off and that, um, that Nigeria and Africa as a whole should celebrate this great feast because. Um, Polio, uh, why polio virus has um, caused a lot of havoc to this continent and the world as a whole. It has taken Nigeria over 30 years to achieve its polio free status. But now that it has, it faces a fresh challenge. How does it sustain this polio free status? Jay Samuels is a public health expert. He says Nigeria must be vigilant now more than ever as two countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan, still remain polio endemic. Uh, we have to maintain, if not even redouble our efforts to ensure that all the things that we did to ensure that this uh, status is achieved, is kept on. We shouldn't just go and start partying and forget that all. Oh, Dr. Samuels is not the only one who believes vigilance is crucial. All has must be on deck. All partners must continue to work together. Fund must be continue to be made available. Robust immunization will now be elastic. Ashuru will certainly be hoping Nigeria keeps its eyes on the ball so that no other kid will have to go through what he has. For Perspectives Abuja, Shegojumu.